Alright, so you have Venerous and... Zanya shoot already down, or Yudo shoot already down a stock. I'm not in a good position here. Jazz out a stock too, but uh, Venerous and Awol not looking at to be very healthy right now. Jazz there. It's very hard to separate the screen names from actual names when you know who the screen names are. So, you've been racing AWOL, still keeping a solid lead, getting a lot of good damage in, putting them up and killing the same. Vito, though, getting some good sheep combos in. I guess just fair strings. Back air killed from across the stage. Very nice. Mido and Jazz both down to one stop beat with Jazz up at upwards of 60%. It's not really looking very good for those two, but I've seen them pull back from this. And Venerous and Paywall doing really good here, getting all their damage and being fairly safe. This cyclone missed both those characters very narrowly, missing those kills. Oh, almost took up the Luigi, but not quite enough. Oh, and there goes. Jazz and Lasagna gets thrown out, but bouncing fishes to secure a kill against Venomous there. Very well done. Uh, waited for the, <laughs> any option from Ledge to get that charge shut off.
stick with the same characters here. going for some mean taunt nonsense. Vito doing a very good job at keeping Paywall off stage and securing that kill with the bouncing fish. And a nice pack here from Veneris secures the stop on Sheik. Still holding a slight lead only over a percent against Yoshi, which stops around to the even now. And Vito getting all of these bouncing fish, ki bouncing fish kills. Starting to throw out some specials and keep distance, trying to hold on to his stock. Ooh, but as soon as he tried to get aggressive, he lost the stock to Venerus's PVG. Oh, and just like that, it's suddenly a 1v1. You can jazz pulled out for this. Where is. A very amazing recovery from Venerus there. Oh, but the F smash ends up taking it. <laughs> I should remember to update both the scores. Teams sitting at one win right now.
is turning up to Isabel in this game, turning to not fully believing in the sheep yet, apparently. Gunner in a dangerous position here, but still manages to get back. Jazz getting some good damage in on the Gunner there. Taking still a relatively equal game. Vito pressuring Gunner is off stage, trying to secure some kind of kill here, but Maris able to get it back and get Jazz off stage so he can go help out his teammate, which didn't work out in the end, and I think that actually, oh no, it didn't quite cost him a stop. Very nice recovery from Maris. Isabel holding onto the stock and teching off the bottom of the stage to keep holding onto it and just throwing all the turnips out to try and catch uh, AWOL here. But missed all of them. There's kind of a lot of off stage action happening right now. Using that good knee there recovery that gives a lot of recovery but not a lot of offense. It's very good for recovering in situations like that when you get pressured off stage so hard. Veneris and Hill are looking to be in a pretty bad spot here, but managed to keep both of them off stage right now and make me come back. Both of them managed to get on the stage. Oh, and Jazz gets caught with that charge shot, but immediately shares stocks. Oh, and there goes any chance of a share stock coming from Paywall and Daenerys there. So they can secure KO on Luigi, and that's going to seal it. Now it's a 2v1 situation. Is not a good spot for Paywall to be in right now. And he manages to make, make it back on stage and get some damage in. He could still pull back from this. He does have good kill options here. That could catch both of them. Very narrowly makes his way around all the projectiles. And oh, and Vito doesn't tech that though, so now it's a 1v1. Oh, but he falls up into the up smash. Making it 2-1 for Jazz and Vito right now. Oh, that's the wrong one. It is so hard to commentate double solo. This is going to be an awful VOD, and I'm so sad. Because it's actually good games. I'm trying, and they're actually really good games. I just can't pay attention to everything. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Here, the hits. So what's the score right now? Uh, is this uh, winners or losers? Uh, this is Brands. Brands, nice. I don't know who's going to be going to uh, the finals or reset though if they win the best of three or five. Yeah, might, and it might be Vito and Jazz. They are a godlike team. 
Oh yeah, for, I forgot Steven changed his uh, tag to AWOL. Yeah, he goes by AWOL now and Friday goes by Venerous now. Venerous, yeah. For some reason the right hand side doesn't work properly with the name, so I have to... Fair enough. Story. Yeah, no, I've just been putting like Steven and uh, Friday on, <laughs> on there for this whole time. That's good to know though, that's good to know. Yeah, it's good enough, we'll figure it out. They'll put two to two together. But anyways, other than that, right now, Vito and uh, Jazz there are maintaining control. But, like, but looks like um, AWOL and Venerous have not lost a stock. Oh, I say that after Ven AWOL dies. Good old commentators first. Mm -hmm. Both teams getting in time where they can. Mm-hmm. Yep, they want, definitely want to keep and Venerous is just going in. So yeah, this game's actually just became even all of a sudden. Yeah, very From uh, AWOL, right? Mm -hmm. I think it was more of an edge guard by um, um, J Vito there. So yeah, it, it could have been. I couldn't see exactly what happened before he left Vito, so he could have been just pushed too far. Mm -hmm. I just find this as like a really good doubles character, so... She covers all the damage and like does all the stuff that Yoshi needs to. You know when she the first two games and I guess he didn't feel it was working out even really long game two, but mm -hmm. he decided to go to the Isabel and just started. Yeah. Go, you know, getting a lot of edge guards and stuff. And so he played very hard off stage, which is good. Especially as well with that amazing recovery. Definitely like villagers, like really good, if not the same. Mm, and that's what they needed. That is what they needed. It's share stock. So basically, if Jazz can like survive, they'll win. But if not, they might be going to a game five. And with Jazz and and, Yo surviving that. and Yoshi with max rage is pretty scary. So can do a lot of in, a lot of in fact, in fact, mm -hmm. in fact, both characters are at kill percent actually. So. Everyone's at their kill. Yeah, it's a very stressful point for mm -hmm. Venerous and AWOL, but... And ooh, I don't know where AWOL was going there. I think he messed up a side there. Yeah, and there we go. And there's game three for there's Vito and Jazz. Three. Bracket reset now? Or? Is and that a bracket a, reset? Yeah, it's a bracket reset. It's a bracket reset. We're... we're So yeah, it looks like we're going to a bracket reset. Give them the small temporary side section of having the three at the yeah. bracket reset. Yeah. Immediately take it away. Just like that. And just like that, freaking Jazz and Vito pull it together. Bring it to game one of... Now we're in game one of the reset bracket. The question is... Does, does, ja uh, does Vito stay with uh, Isabel through the whole thing? I think Vito's feeling the Isab Isabella right now. He has been feeling Peach lately, which is why he went chic, but... Yeah, no. I think he's feeling Isabella right now. And I'm enjoying the Jazz Yoshi. I, I think that's yeah. the character. I'm very happy he's settling down on a character right now. Mm -hmm. He seems to really enjoy playing Yoshi, and he's Indeed. doing good at it. But mind yeah. you, though, Venerous and Awol are no Paul Shelver. They are... Not, they are veterans of their characters. As far as I know, they've both played their characters since day one. True. And they do get quite a bit of practice from some really good players so it's not like this is their first rodeo so unfortunately AWOL's original partner uh, Nadia couldn't make it because I know that's a static team so yeah, Nadia is taking a break focusing on school so good for him yeah shout out to school shout out to Nadia stay in school kids oh it's going pretty good man pretty, I got uh, 82 on my first exam and 73 on the second so I'm I'm feeling good. I thought I'd reward myself by coming down here and play yeah, some games today. It's a solid reward for some solid marks. Exactly. Exact Mundo. And yeah, it looks like everyone's going to their characters. Yeah. I agree. Battlefield is a good, good stage. I mean, I personally would think, I, I would think Smashville would also be good, but. Yeah. I think anything with like platforms is good for like, Vito and Jazz right now. I feel the platforms are a bit more more. Yes. Uh, for the, yeah, because the Luigi can't uh, get his setups yeah, that it's... Yeah, because you can tech out of a lot of his combos if he under a platform. Mm -hmm. uh, they all 
seems to be getting frustrated with some of the mistakes he's making. By yes, and that now's the time to not be frustrated at all because you you essentially reset the bracket. You just need to win three more games, and you've won like your turn. And it would be like a nice huge win for Beto and Jazz, who are like probably our best team in the in North Balford. So yeah, they're, I believe they're definitely our best team. They just don't yeah. get to compete often because they're just better teams in those cases. So True. Good and, and, and this is the combination of them being like busy. But yeah, speaking of being busy, they're holding it down right now. And this game is virtually even at the moment. Yeah. Same thing as last time where um, Venerous and AOL leading a bit in percent right now. But, mm -hmm. sure. but mind you though, Vito just needs a, a, like a stage guard, like an edge guard. Yeah, and you can get an easy like 30% on you if he has you right off stage or just yeah. get a kill right out. And I kind of like their strategy too, actually, because it's like, essentially, Isabel is more of a stock tank. So that, like, she's just getting the damage so Yoshi can get the kills. And that is why you see, like, Isabel just on the side doing damage with her fair and bare. Yeah. Meanwhile, as with Luigi and I, they're a strong team, but because like both can like kill pretty quick, but yeah. but they do lack some form of an edge guard. Ooh, and that was and that, that was, was a, a, I think that was a good decision on Amo's part. He was getting up there in percent. And yeah, had he, a good opportunity to take it, and, and suddenly it's a very dangerous situation mm -hmm. for Vito is Isabel here. Now the question is, will Isabel run the clock? Because she totally could. She just cannot get hit by that easy. Well, she also has to take a stock out from the nearest there. Because he's still holding on to two stocks. Mm -hmm. And speaking of that, that that's one yeah. stock. Again, that's, I think that's yeah. uh, AWOL getting a bit frustrated and mm -hmm. doing some bad plays because of it. Yeah. Although I do agree with like AWOL going in instead of Venerous because I would rather have the Ike go in than the Luigi because I think Luigi would do a lot better yeah, than I Ike in this Ike would trade less with Isabel or just override most of her. And plus that up B is so safe off stage. Like if he is getting attacked, he can just sacrifice yeah. himself for the stop. Yeah, like he did earlier, which was again very smart. And right now, Isabel is at kill percent, so it's just a matter of like getting the right hits in. But so is. But Venerous has to be careful, too. Oh. That was disgusting. Oh, that was. That. I can't believe that landed. That was very nice. So, game one is for Venerous today. to show how your exchange of the character can really change up something. Mm -hmm. That's and that sour spot is actually deceivingly strong, too. That Because that was the sour spot of a B, right? So, it's. I, tr I trust that the see I ooh, Rosal I know Jazz has been low key working on Rosalina. I don't know if this would work quite well with, with Isabel, you know. Yeah, no, everyone's sticking with their with their guns. Their characters, they believe in the characters they've played this far. Thus yeah, far. mind you, they're the ones that got them to grand final, so it's only it's only fair. We're in town and city now. This guy's home stage. Mm -hmm. So, what, if you were um, if you were Vito and Jazz, what would you want to try do to tie this game up? The person you're trying to get off stage with, like the characters off stage with, uh, Yoshi, and then trying to get edge guards with Isabel, like what mm -hmm. most of their game is, but it works very well so far. Ooh, that was a Ooh. very good exercise. Yeah. Of the and it's not looking too hot right now. Because look at that sacrifice. That was... And and with Ike, that is actually a solid strategy. Because, like, I know... I know when I'm... Um, ooh, I take that back. But <laughs> I guess he wanted to try to grab uh, Isabel there. But no, because I know with, um, with Nadia's Pikachu, I know that's one of their go-to strats where, like... Pikachu just back and receive the death, and then he'll just do the up B. So. I actually haven't gotten a chance to watch much Vito and, or Nadia and Steven. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's happening? Take the stock. Take the stock. Don't do it. It was a, it was a legitimate pause. 
There was a pause requested by T.O. Got to break a 20. But it's not looking too hot right now. See, so yeah, I won. This is a very bad situation for mm -hmm. Vito and Jazz. Yeah. Right to the first set. I think just those early kills they got right away was like what Venerous and AWOL needed. But now they can still t turn it around, but it's gonna requ it's gonna have to require Isabella or Isabel to uh, be safe because she is at kill percent. Very dangerous percent, and, and yeah, really blown once again. That was a nice setup that Venerous did there, taking the early kill on Jazz. Oh, and barely makes it back to ledge with that one balloon. And yeah, that's all that's all I could eat was an up air. And that's two two oh. Not looking very beat on jazz right now, but Yeah. But I believe they can put their polar reverse to the other. Exactly. Did they do that, you know, in the first grand final set before I showed up? Uh it was one to three. Really. Uh Venerous and AWOL won mm. the first game and then they won the next three. See, so yeah, I wonder maybe if like AWOL and Venerous figured out the Yoshi Isabella strat. I think they're just adapting to the play, the Vito and Jazz's playstyle more because yeah. they were definitely having trouble at first because she can that much up. Yeah, I, yeah, because like she cannot kill, so it's, I definitely think Yoshi and Isabel is like a better team in that regards. Yeah. It's just unfortunate that she still is very valuable right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since Vito's been having so much fun with her. Ah. It almost seems like Vito might be in a character crisis of his own. I hope I hope that doesn't happen because he does have a lot of good characters in play. So. He still likes Peach and he still likes Isabelle, but he's been having a lot of fun with the sheep recently. But, I mean, I think that's the main thing, right? If you can have fun with that character, that's who you would play. It looks like we're on FD. It looks like Vito and Jazz and they also changed color, which yeah. is interesting. I, I wonder if that's the new meta in teams. You change colors, and that builds momentum. Huh. <laughs> and they're def they definitely are having a better start than they did in game two, that's for sure. Getting more you did and not getting a mm -hmm. by like right away. Yeah. Jazz at one point, he's still holding on to his stock, though. Mm -hmm. I think they... Ooh, oh, that hurts. I, I think they realize that they have to, like, watch, always keep an eye on Luigi while edge guarding Ike, because I think, ooh, that, oh, that was a very good, was a very, good very unfortunate. Uh, followed by a very <laughs> bad one. But. but that's the beauty of Ike, you can just throw those out, and sometimes it hits and sometimes it doesn't. See, so, yeah, I think I think how they're tackling this new strategy now is they, they, they know that um, they want that Luigi wants to land his up B, so if they can um if they can keep Luigi away from him, Luigi won't be able to land the up B. Because they're definitely setting up combos for that cannon really to grab some mm -hmm. Which definitely looks like the jazz are playing much better this game. I definitely play more conservative, which is really good. And that up smash by Luigi, it's Very scary in this combo there from mm -hmm. Awol and Venice. And Awol going for another upbeat, but it's just not working out anymore. Yeah, because now Vito is, is seeing right through it, but is able to escape before he gets hit by that. Mm -hmm. I feel like Isabel is like one of those harder characters to punish with that upbeat, too. Especially when you're Ooh, and that was actually point. really nice there. That's the, the fair to set up uh, Yoshi's up there, killing Luigi. That was really. Well played. And this this is actually looking like Vito and Jazz's favorite. Yeah, they're definitely picking mm -hmm. up from the last two games saying that doesn't matter. Yeah, no, they're saying no, we're we're not going 3-0 that easy. No. I told you, they can do the reverse 3 yeah. so they do it before. And, and, and it looks like again. they do it. Oh. Oh, and it's and that's a good trade-off. Now the question yeah. is. Do they share stock right now, or...? And this is the one scenario I wouldn't want to share stock. Mainly because, like, Isabel is at 110%. And it, it just comes down to believing in your, like, partner's ability to one-on-one. -on -one. And I know Vito is good at that, so... They're making the right call not share stocking. I know, I know in doubles, most people want to share stock at moments like these, but... You take a risk, though, because you're both at one life. And all it takes is, like, the one player to attack... To kill the person with the most percent right away. 
came in, so. And that was a nice, oh, that was a nice that wobble. Was a nice wobble to F tilt. Yeah, I know Vito's got setups for that, and it's, and it's, oh, it's disgusting. I like it. I just like that 2 1, and they are not going down without a fight, so. So now it should be. So then I wonder with uh, Ver Venerous and AWOL, does AWOL tone down on the uppies? <laughs> Because I feel like that's what cost him that this game yeah, I is. I think that's uh, what definitely what cost him this game. But yeah. I definitely think he's probably not going to up the off stages aggressively off stage. Yeah. And definitely try and go for more like top setups with Luigi instead. Yeah. I think I think like the thing too is like if I were if I were playing Ike right and that's the strategy I was going with, I would want to only do that to Yoshi as Yoshi has more of a predictable recovery than Isabel. Isabel can float all the way on yeah. the stage or just say, I want to go over here now instead. Exactly. So it's so I wonder if they'll if, if the blue team will transition to that, just doing that to only um to Yoshi or not. And then we're going back to Smashville. They did get actually um they actually did lose game two here, I believe. So hopefully now that the now that they got that one game, that's the momentum they need to turn it around. Oh, oh. Isabel going for the very risky oh, oh my god, that was nice. That was a jab lock to Uppy, but yeah. the great DI by Jazz there. Once Living again, that. that's the experience Venerous has with Luigi showing there. Yeah, it just shows that he knows his character and like the surroundings, whether it be a singles or doubles scenario. Absolutely. And I feel like, too, Venerous is just... He's just an overall good guy to team up with, like, because I know he doesn't have a static team, not like the three gentlemen, Paywall, Jazz, and Vito, so, so he knows his, he definitely knows his surroundings, that makes him really well done. And that was a nice down smash by, uh, Paywall. That was very good catching both of them, mm -hmm. some good descending. And there we go, just like that, we're even Evening out the stocks, but Jazz still lagging quite a bit behind the percent. True. <laughs> I'm sure he's like waiting oh, for. He's standing on the other side of the stage, taunting, taunting, baiting them perhaps. That was a nice parry. Not looking very good for Jazz and Vita right now, taking a lot of damage. Yeah, they actually are on tournament life, so if I wanna be able to take home the gravy, they're gonna have to uh, switch things up ASAP because Yoshi is down to one line. Oh my God, that hurt. That is. Not a Got that with Isabel. For them to be in. It's looking very mm -hmm. evil and venerous right now. Yeah. But I mean, never, they say never count your chickens yet, so. They just gotta play more smart because AWOL is at kill percent and Venerous. I feel like Luigi's recovery isn't as good as it was in Smash 4, so it's definitely edge guardable. It is guardable, but he's been making some very amazing recoveries so far in these two sets. Mm -hmm. And I think, and I think they literally decide. I think, yeah, the, the whole not doing up the off stage as much is definitely paying off for the blue yeah. team because they are just controlling the stage and they realize, I think that's how we lost game three, so it's like, let's just end it. Yep. But if Yoshi can at least get a kill here, they might be able to turn around. Oh, it's... Uh, nope. it's a 4v1 for Yeah. The, uh, and that's that. And that's and congratulations to Venerous and AWOL. Give me my money. Give me my money.